My name is Jacob and I am CrossFit Ergo's member of the month. So outside of the gym, um, I kind of have a pretty unique working um, experience. Uh, from May through October, I actually run a wedding venue called Almond Springs. And the other months out of the year, I work as a farmer and rancher on that same piece of property. Um, actually owned by my wife's family, fifth generation family ranch, super cool place to be. This is probably one of the most fun things I get to do. Um, I, I like to spend a lot of time in the gym. Obviously, there's a lot of great people here. And um, so CrossFit and exploring other CrossFit gyms has, has been a really fun thing for me to do. Um, not gym related or work related. I also like kind of exploring the craft beer industry. Uh, I think it's a really cool and unique culture. Every place is a little bit different. Uh, everyone's always happy there. And so that tends to be a pretty fun thing for me to do as well. Um, I have probably, I'm not being biased, the best dog in the whole wide world. Uh, she is a little white old English bulldog named Maisie. Uh, she kind of joined our family about two years ago and now she kind of runs the family. So, uh, but the sweetest little dog, you probably have seen her running around the gym. If not, she definitely will be back. So. I actually just got married in May. Um, actually, it, it was super cool because a good chunk of the Ergo group was there made it really special for us. But uh, Carly and I met as fourth graders at Temp Templeton Elementary School, started dating at 15 years old, sophomores in high school at Templeton. Uh, we went to college together at Cal Poly, moved back in together uh, here in Paso a couple of years ago. And like I said, just got married last May. So um, something interesting people probably don't know about me is I actually really enjoy reading. Um, I'm kind of a big World War II history buff, so I read a ton and ton and tons of books about World War II, um, whether it be different battles, whether it be uh, people who are just, you know, made huge differences within the war. Um, I just find it super interesting. I think it was, it was a pretty incredible time of our history. I know lots of bad came out of it, but you know, it also created a lot of good. So very interesting thing to look into. Uh, my training, health, fitness, life before Ergo was pretty abysmal, if I'm being completely honest. Um, I, I didn't work out a lot kind of in my early 20s. I uh, wanted to get back into it, so I joined uh, everyone's favorite gym, Planet Fitness. Uh, felt like I was putting in a ton of time there with virtually no results. Um, and same kind of thing with my, my nutrition. I, I thought I was eating clean. Um, but you know, came to find out that was also not the case. So uh, before training at Ergo, I was, you know, to put it gently, a little bit of a mess. So I've been at Ergo for just about two years now. Um, kind of started slow. I had a little bit of injury concerns at the beginning here, but especially within the last year, I've really been able to kind of kick it up a notch. Uh, and now I train here six days a week. Before coming here, my, my biggest struggles with fitness and nutrition were just the lack of improvement in results. Like I said, I thought I was putting in tons of time. I thought I was doing what I thought was right. Um, and I just wasn't getting anywhere. I felt like I was just wasting time at that point. I was eating foods I didn't like and not getting anything out of it. Um, so I, I just couldn't quite figure out how to, how to make improvements with not only in the gym and the gains you kind of get there, but, um, you know, body transformation a little bit with, with trying to eat cleaner and figuring that out as well. My breaking point kind of ended up being my wedding. Uh, it was coming up fast and I started to kind of go through a little panic there. Um, you know, you want to look good at your wedding. And so I, I, I figured that at this point in time, I definitely needed to enlist some help. Started researching gyms kind of in our area. Um, found Ergo's page, scrolled through it a little bit, came in here for a little intro session and, and was hooked, I mean, almost immediately. It was, it was pretty cool how that worked out. There are a lot of awesome things about being a member at Ergo. Uh, I'm sure this answer is gonna be hit on quite a few times, but really the CrossFit community, especially at this gym, is, is pretty, pretty awesome. Really hard to compare to really anything else. Uh, I've made so many great friends here. I like coming in and seeing different people in different classes. And um, the, I mean, the best part about it is I've made, you know, pretty much lifelong friends here, uh, a good chunk of which, like I said, I ended up coming to my wedding. So just the community here, the support, 
the inspiration that you can get, it's, it's like I said, it's, it's uncomparable. You really are not going to be able to find it anywhere else. So, Biggest accomplishment so far. Uh, it's really hard to kind of pinpoint one. That's another really, really fun and unique thing about CrossFit is uh, just when you think you've you've reached your goal or you've met your accomplishment, there's always another one right right off the bat that you're looking into. Um, so I think initially getting my double unders down that was huge, super super rewarding. Uh, it took a while to get it, but you know now they're just second nature. Another fun one for me was being able to do handstand walks. Uh, before coming to the gym, I never thought that was a possibility with me. Got a bum shoulder a little bit, and so I was thinking there's just no way I'm going to go upside down and do anything. Um, and now they're one of my favorite movements. So just being able to kind of set your sights on a specific movement, work towards it, and then being able to accomplish it is, is really, really, really rewarding and been really fun here. I've gotten pretty good with double unders and handstand walks. So that's been, like I said, super, super fun. Never really thought that was going to be my gig. I did not think I was a gymnast by any means. Um, but I'm kind of that, that sweet spot in size where I'm not big enough to be big but I'm not small enough to be the quick little guy running six minute miles. So I kind of had to find my, my sweet spot there and it's the, with those kind of unique movements that I've been really able to do that. I don't think it's ever stopped. What I'm working on right now has got to be pull-ups. Uh, those have been just about the bane of my existence ever since I've got here. I've had my highs, I've had my lows, but I think that's another fun thing where, you know, no matter how good you end up getting with them, there's always you know, a chance and a way to get better. And so lately I've been trying to crank out the pull-ups and get more proficient with that. Yeah, so January, 2020, uh, the Redongo crew ended up going to Miami for Wadapalooza. Um, I don't think I was the only only one who was nervous about, about them leaving, um, but I definitely felt the brunt of it after they had left. Uh, it just seemed like every day Mike became a little bit more on edge. Um, you know, pieces of the ceiling started falling down. The lights were flickering. It was really eerie. And by the end of it, I think we were just about full-blown gym apocalypse and uh, had to hide, hide in the bathroom from Mike as he kind of tore around the gym, um, trying to regain control of, of kind of the hectic situation that that was created with the vacuum um, of the Rodongo boys leaving. So that was a uh, pr pretty, pretty intense couple of days there. I'm always happy to see the Rodongo boys, um, whether it's Chad leaving to go to San Diego, Justin's in and out with work, Keanu's competing and traveling a lot more now. Uh, I mean, talk about three of the best kind of coaches and people you could really ask, ask for. It's always good to see them in here, uh, always pushing people, always giving you that little, ex little bit of extra inspiration. Um, really second to none with them. So, my favorite coach, you know, I'm gonna say it, it changes. Uh, for a long time, I was out of in the four, five thirty o'clock in the evening classes. At that point in time, I'm gonna go ahead and give the thumbs up to Keanu. He was my favorite coach. Uh, dialed back into the mornings, I get to see Chad almost every single day, and I'm gonna say, you know what, Chad right now is taking the cake. He's he's a lot of fun to work with. Uh, very knowledgeable with all your movements and really helped me kind of become a better CrossFitter. So. Jana was my training partner for a long time and so you know it's been super super fun to see her kind of grow within the gym. It seems like every time I show up regardless of what time it is she's in here either doing some personal training or running a class uh, so I mean hats off to her she's been killing it lately gotta, gotta definitely give her a thumbs up. Well we all love Mike. <laughs> Favorite coach? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Favorite person in the gym, I'd say he's closer to that for sure. You know, I'm not gonna be, I don't play favorites when it comes to the women. Um, Natalie and Marley are both absolutely incredible in their own ways. Um, I think Mike can attest to this. They've really, you know, the gym was really solid. The programming was really solid. That aspect of the gym has always been great. But Marley and Natalie coming in and boosting the social media, um, kind of the user experience here, they've been killing it with that. And so just making, kind of the gym a home for everyone it's it's been really cool for them so can't no no favor though that's that's just not fair carly is my favorite member when she's here uh she works her butt off which is you know part of the reason why i love her but it takes her away from the gym more more than i would like it to be um but you know every time every time she's in there it's always fun you know 
uh, being able to work out with your wife in such a cool environment is, is, is pretty fun for me. If you're looking into CrossFit Ergo and you're a little bit unsure, um, really you just gotta go for it. Uh, you mean, it, anyone can sit back and kind of mull over decisions and you lose a lot of time that way. Uh, pulling the trigger and just getting into it is gonna be the best thing for you. You're gonna find really quickly that um, nothing is too difficult. Everything is scalable to, to match what you are able to bring into the gym. Uh, and then with the best part about it is very quickly after that, you'll start seeing these results. Your weight, your weight will jump up. You're, you'll be faster in the workouts that we do repeats on. And just the, the rewarding aspect of it is gonna completely take you over and get you sucked in real quick. You know, I just have to thank not only Mike and the coaches here, but really the entire community for taking me in, for making this such a positive and fun place. Uh, obviously, last few years have been dicey kind of everywhere, but this has always been a place that I've been able to fall back on, regardless of what I'm feeling mentally, regardless of what I'm feeling physically, I know I can come in here, get a good workout, be with my friends, and leave satisfied every, every single time. So um, thanks to everyone for that, for sure. My name is Jacob Paul and I am Ergo.